and welcome back to Holy 4, Crusher War, Serenia, under Adiago Dezel. And today we are destroying the insult. Mary Jip's existence is a stain upon this world, and direct insult to us. They dare name their capital after one of those pillars of Equestria, the very same ponies who banished us all those years ago. Even now they harbor Samnambula herself, a figure of praise in their revisionist history. This will not stand. Also, we should really, um do this at least some because we are currently wasting that even if I haven't got my uh, theorist up yet. I just noticed that. I've probably been wasting that for a while, but you know. Oh well. It happens. And I don't ca care. So yeah. <laughs> The Empire Strikes Back. I see. Uh, <laughs> Lunar Empire has also expanded some in here, though so has the Condorda to Free Nation, so it's very strangely bordered. Um, might have to attack you just for that, you know? Like, those sorts of borders? That's a crime. Let's go! And you guys just stall. You're pushing, but I don't actually expect expect you to go through. It would be great if you did, but I just expect you to stall them. <laughs> Looks like you might just push through, though. <laughs> and if that's the case, great. Because that actually means... Okay, I took the port anyways, but I was about to say, that actually means I don't need a port to actually get those guys over there. They could just get over because they could walk. Also, oh, pff, they also, I wonder if that's partially why they didn't get to me. Is they were distracted because of my random territory over there. You know? I wonder if that was part of it. Push my troops, push. There we go, there we go. Good, 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 good.
go, 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 go. Sure. There we go. Done it. Mine. In fact, I've actually spent. It, it's almost like that's just part of Mary Egypt now. No, Mary Egypt as in me. Oh, yeah, I might as well do that. Sure, everyone get down here. We're gonna go kill this super tiny guy. By taking over both Mary Egypt and Abyssinia, we have surrounded the curious city of Kluge Town. Also, we're gonna need to delete some more troops. A place where the most unlikely of criminals and gangs call home. Of course, we can't let such a prize go untaken, especially when so vulnerable to our armies. It should be simple matter to march in and take what is rightfully ours. We're also doing the ponies of Mary Egypt. The Mary Egyptians cannot be allowed any sort of leniency, especially with what they attempted in their history. Our beacons must be sent in mass, their obedience guaranteed towards others. Uh, they are ours, now and forever, and we will make sure they never forget it. The storm in the north, the bear, can the bear survive this? Oh, I, I see. Um, they've gone communist, but it's because they're... They were forced communist. Um, now they don't have the communist tree. <laughs> so they were definitely forced to be communist. This isn't like, oh, we should be communist. It's a, oh, so we're communist now, huh? Okay. Got it. Alright, you guys defeat them. This should be nice and easy. As you're definitely making it seem, so yeah. Good. Who's the next person we're gonna go to war with? Abyssinia, which uh, doesn't exist, so yeah. Uh, we luckily do own whatever two provinces we're supposed to take from Seer of Abyssinia, so thank goodness for that. So actually, yeah, you guys can just go home for now. Um, ships, you guys go ahead and go back as well. Um, stop, um... You guys stop doing uh, this and just head on back. And annex them. Good. Leave no trace. The city of Simnublia, in particular its, n its name, is an offense to our existence. We cannot tolerate. They glorify one of our greatest villains of the ancient times, who kept creatures from enjoying the freedom and music we bring, and delegating us to a mere legend. This city must be renamed, the old one being erased from history. No one will remember that blasted pillar by the time we are done. Sounds good. The fall of Griffenheim. Um, well, that was quick. Not too, just just a wh little while ago, we were hearing, "Hey, they're risen. They're doing it." Oh, and now they're dead. All right. In that case, now I want to use this extra magic strip that I'm getting. What do I want? So the things that are actually pluses are these. Um, I'm no. Um, let's see. Good bonuses, maybe. Maybe. I definitely want that. 
I can also do it again, which I might do. I probably will do that. I'm just too into having big army. That's just how I play. <laughs> I think you guys have realized that by now, though. <laughs> big army, go burr. That's me. <laughs> Abyssinia is the last step in our plans westward in Zebrica. They hold no particular value themselves, but their land will be necessary for our invasion of Equestria across the ocean. With their petty territorial dispute with Mare Egypt and the Storm King's attack years ago, defeating them should be trivial. Every siren needs a partner, a second fiddle to their melody, an accomp accompaniment to support their music. Each of us have our talents, yet there must be a strictly defined order under the hierarchy. If there is not, they... That. Who is to say one of us will not one day betray the others? True, true, true. So we should probably, you know, just make her even more powerful. I think that makes the most sense. There we go. Now we've completed all of those. Well, actually, we could do a few things around here. Um, which I might do. Yeah, I'm gonna go and do that. The first to fall. The first to fall. The dungeons of Mount Ares had seen little use in some time, at least ever since the sirens had taken over. When everyone is thawed and some level obedient, there was almost no need for such places. Only the most dangerous were left there, those deemed by the sirens personally to be too dangerous to be left about. It was why they were still heavily guarded by only the most disciplined and fanatic of enthralled subjects. So they themselves finally added one more member. Okay, I'll come back to them in just a moment. I want to go ahead and do this um, just so I can get that off my screen. Actually, um, because I still have a good amount of uh, 100s and 80s I can do first. So let's do those first. All right, there we go. Now I can do my, actually, I have an 80 over, no, here. Actually, that's a 100 right there. Let's do that. There's another 100, so let's do that. Alright, there we go. That should be good for now. Well, 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 Adiago said, as the three sirens looked down upon Somnilla. Ah, uh, here we go. The American Pegasus and Pillar of Equestria. All four of her hooves were chained to the floor, her wings bound tightly to her side. They were they were no t taking chances this time. I bet you're surprised to see us again after what you did. Do you regret going against us now? No, they responded. The ancient Mary Egyptian accent ragged from the days spent in her cell. Adiago's face contorted in anger. Really? You took away our destiny, everyone's destiny, and look how the world is done. You stop nothing. Ponies still die, creatures far worse than us still live and rule. Even now, when you know what being banished for, for over a thousand years feels like, you still refuse to understand. The pony shook her head. We did what we did for Equestria. You left us no choice. You chose to fight us, Saria responded, and this is the price you have to pay. Come on, Ayago. The two sirens gave one last look at her before both leaving the cell. Sanato moved as well to follow, but stopped when she heard a voice behind her. Wait, she said. You are not like them, are you? Your hatred does not burn as bright as theirs. The siren fled. Yeah, Adiago says I need to work more on being mean. She, she's right, though. You decided to banish us, and we were stuck down there for a thousand years. And it is a tradition I wish I could take back every day now. Sonato blinked, and she looked at her. The pearl pony's purple eyes shine brightly, but please, if you stay, I promise I can explain everything to you. Explain what? Another story. Is it true that you left us no choice in having to fight you, but not all of us wanted to banish you too? Sigeon and I wish to talk, try and talk to make you see the error of your ways. But we were convinced by Star Swirl that it was the only way to save Equestria. That villains could not change. We let fear into our hearts and it chose for us. 
I allowed the same thing to happen when Stern turned to the darkness after we cast him out, too. You mean when you got banished, too? Sammy, she nodded. When he did not come back for forgiveness, but instead for revenge, I believe the darkness had taken too much of a hold, that he was beyond saving. Even when Twilight brought us back, I did not have hope for him. But, Nanetta asked, getting genuine Karina curious now, but Princess Twilight proved us wrong. She saved Shingen and brought the friend we once had back to us. She gave me hope back. Despite the chains holding me down, she managed to raise a hoof to point to Sonata, and now I'm placing it in you. Sonata blinked twice, following the merry Egyptian's hoof before pointing at herself. Me? I believe that you could choose a better path. Your power may take choice away from others, but you still have the choice to do the right thing. You don't have to do what others tell you to do or act how they believe you should. You can do what you want to do. Be who you want to be, and I have hope that you will do what is best for every pony. Sonata didn't say anything. All she did was stare at the pony in front of her. The pony she was supposed to hate with all her heart, the one she had feared for years now, would send her back into the abyss, but now she didn't know what to feel. I need to go, she said, backing away. Sonata did not sleep that night. What do you, what do, you do when the world is a lie? Oh boy. Um, that, that, that doesn't sound great. Um. I, I want to do a run where I go for Sonato as the main one. I have a feeling it's going to be different. Alright, I'm going to stop right below before Revenge because I'm not ready for that yet. But I am ready for, like, everything else. Which, even then, this might be my best chance for that before the changelings are down. Though I might... I will probably want to wait until hopefully Lunar and Friar and Stalingrad fight. A Siren second. Ariago had always worked hard to keep her role as the undisputed re leader of the Siren Three, but being fair, it was easy. What with how incompetent the other two were and how simple it was to get them to fight each other instead. But still, just dealing with either of them could be so annoying sometimes. Ari was always getting into her business, and Sonata constantly fumbled the most basic of tasks, didn't her? But the time for scheming was over. Necessity had forced her to choose between the two, of who she could would trust more than the other, and while the answer may have seemed simple to some, Ariago knew it was anything but. Both were practical options in their own ways, even their personalities weren't. Aria was a natural choice. Her paranoia and sarcasm gra grated on Idiogo in, mo in all the wrong ways, but she was still manipulative intelligence and, most importantly, pragmatic. She gave results that could be argued with, and got things done independently or instruction. A perfect second to deal with the issues she couldn't care less about. On the other hand, Sonata, for all her faults, had benefits as well. Her messages were certainly unique, and rarely did she ever follow instructions to Adiago's liking. But Sonata was able to solve problems that neither she or Aria could ever think of approaching. Easily persuaded herself, she would be a compliant, idiotic, and possibly even useful second o to her primo. But in the end, only one could be the, her partner. The other would no doubt be annoyed at being last in line, and she would have to be careful in making sure her choice didn't get the upper hoof over her. So the moment of truth had come. So I'm gonna get rid of, um... I'm gonna give Aria reasoning makes her the best partner. Sonata may be a ditz, but she has her uses. Let's go! Boom. Seems good to me. Consolidate Zebrica. While we fight a glorious war on Equus, we cannot afford our Zebrican holdings to have any sort of insubordination or trouble, especially when our armies will be an ocean across. Necessity acquires that problems no longer be a possibility, so both our loyal constant and our beacons of magic will have their resources expanded to better achieve their duties at hoof. Sounds good. I could- <laughs> I'm not going to ally with changelings just because 
they don't exist enough for me to want to. But, you know, it's a nice thought. A uh, nice thought that I'm not going to do, though. The Islands of the Canterbian. There are many small islands between Zebrakhan and Equestria, possible naval bases and staging points for our attack on the continent. Many of them are subjects of powers we do not wish to fight yet, but should that situation change, they would make easy targets for us. True. Very, very true. Okay, good. I do have that now. I will just go and wait till 10.13. Like the year. I'm not gonna wait till the exact minute of 10:13. That would be waiting <laughs> many hours until the moment I'm recording this. So. So you're all doing well. So little of my nation is actual core now. But, you know, that's fine. So let's see. Hawkland is probably someone I could attack. And you're straight up independent. You're straight up independent. So there's a couple of nations over there that I could definitely go after. I want to see what the... So yeah, Porta Calabella and Las... Whatever are both targets I could go after. Which I will be going after. I'm doing it this way just so I can hit both islands. Their troop count is low enough where I'm not worried about it. All we need is us. We do not need anyone else in our question for vengeance. So-called allies are nothing but weakness. A disgraceful idea akin to such ones as friendship. The only thing we need is us. As sirens to defeat anyone. We will not compromise. We will take all of our old homeland alone. No matter what it takes to do it. And we're not doing our natural allies. We and the changelings are species that are similar yet opposites. They feed on love. We feed on hate. And yet we share a common goal, the fall of Equestrian Harmony. They too were disgraced by the ponies, banished back to their hives only a few years ago. They would make excellent, if temporary, allies against our common enemies. Sadly, they are on the verge of death, so they won't make good friends at the moment. Good friends for us are nations not on the verge of death. So, yeah. Sorry. You're not going to make good friends to us. Now, we're not actually ready for this war, but, you know, we'll get around to it. And by that, I mean my troops aren't in a placement to actually fight, so. Alright, and next, we're going to be um, changing our uh, leader. And I'm still going I'm going to go for Sonata Dusk next. <laughs> Did it just give the game Changeling's Triumph when um 
when all they are is like a little puppet state now. Okay, whatever. But uh, yeah, um, changelings now exist as this little puppet state of theirs. Um, the Lunar Empire took a lot of it. So yeah, um, you can tell things are going great. Sonata. Since um, Sonata Dusk is an outlier among the three, severe, severely lacking in any sort of skill regarding intentional manipulation, often forgetful and ditzy, Sonata legitimately enjoys music of all kinds, including music being played by others. She hates boredom and prefers doing things and being in the moment, as opposed to the other two with their long plans and eyes on the future. Sonata frequently gets into arguments with Aria over trivial matters, which constantly results in Adiago having to intervene in their pointless arguments. This has led to Sonata being areas as no fun, and Ariago as the leader with the evil plans. The result of this has been her being the siren most preferring to get away from her partners often when possible, and occasionally unwittingly doing something useful in the process. Despite it all, though, she still cares about the trio and does whatever she can to help, even if it isn't always useful. Wow, really being rude to this girl. She's just trying to help. What is music? We as sirens are the greatest musicians that this world has ever seen, and our voices are unmatched by none, whether it be in song or in sound. But others can create music too, and some things they have played are not that bad. Maybe they have talent that we should let show too. You like she genuinely think seems to care. All right, do do do. Grab up you guys. Doom, 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 boop, and uh, turn that off. Um, no, just okay. I just straight up went. Okay, um, grab up. I'm gonna say, yeah, you. Oops, not not National Guard. No, what? No. You guys are chilling over here. But I think this is a good time to go ahead and end this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button. And as always, peace.